Dear viewers, scientists discovered a new planet whose size is equal to double the size of Earth which is fully covered with ocean. No sun-kissed beaches, no towering mountains, just endless swirls of sapphire blue swirling beneath a foreign sun. This isn't science fiction, friends, it's the newly discovered TI, 733b, orbits a star slightly smaller than the sun in a remarkably short period of just 4.9 days. This is confusing because the planet's orbital period implies that it is too close to the star. This means that something fascinating is going on on the planet that allows it to have an ocean of water on its surface. Another long-standing exoplanet mystery, the Radius Valley Mystery, has been solved by the discovery of this exoplanet. So, how did astronomers discover this distant planet? What clues hint at the possibility of water ocean on its surface? Finally, and most importantly, why is the discovery of this exoplanet so critical to astronomy? Since the initial detection of exoplanets in the 1990s, our exploration of the cosmos has been relentless. We have encountered an astonishing variety of exoplanets, ranging from rocky worlds similar in size to Earth to massive gas giants like hot Jupiters. These planets exhibit a wide range of radii, with terrestrial planets typically measuring half the size of Earth and gas giants reaching up to 10 times Earth's radius. However, there is a noticeable difference between these categories, exoplanets with radius are varying from so. How did astronomers discover this distant planet? How many clues indicate the presence of water on the ocean surface? Finally, and most importantly, why is the discovery of this exoplanet so significant to astronomy? Since the discovery of exoplanets in the 1990s, we have been relentless in our exploration of the cosmos. We've discovered an amazing variety of exoplanets, ranging from Earth-sized rocky worlds to massive gas giants like hot Jupiters. The radii of these planets vary greatly, with giant planets typically measuring half the size of Earth and gas giants reaching 10 times the size of Earth. Surprisingly, resources 1.5 and 2 times that of Earth are scarce, resulting in what is known as the small planet radius valley. Various theories have been proposed by scientists to explain this scarcity. One theory proposes that many Neptunes, which are larger than super-Earths but smaller than gas giants, gradually shrink over time to become terrestrial planets similar to Earth in size. However, the mechanism by which this shrinking occurs remains a mystery. This is where the discovery of TDI 733b becomes extremely valuable, as it may hold the key to solving this mystery. TI 733b is an exoplanet located approximately 245 light years from Earth in the southern celestial hemisphere. It is in orbit around TI 733, a yellow star that contains nearly 96% of the solar mass. The planet was discovered using data from TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. TESS uses the transit method to look for exoplanets. When a planet passes in front of its host star, it causes a small dip in the star's brightness. By analyzing these variations in the starlight, the presence of a planet can be inferred. The majority of the exoplanets found to date have been confirmed with the transit method. The transit method can also reveal some important physical parameters about the planet. For example, by observing the period of the dip in starlight, one can calculate the planet's orbital period. TI-733b has an orbital period of 4.9 days, indicating that it is very close to its star. The high-energy photons from the star can ionize the planetary atmosphere and eventually disperse it at such close proximity. This is known as photoevaporation, and it is one of the possible ways for many Neptunes to shrink. The amount of starlight blocked by the transiting exoplanet was used to calculate the radius of TI-733b. It was measured at approximately 1.99 Earth radii, putting it in the small planet radius valley. The next step was to determine the planet's mass. The HARPS spectrograph was used by astronomers to accomplish this. HARPS is a high-precision spectrograph installed on the European Southern Observatory's 3.6-meter telescope in Chile. It searches for exoplanets by measuring the star's radial velocity. And here's how you do it. A planet's gravitational interaction with its star causes the star to move in a small circle or an ellipse. This movement alters the light spectrum of the star, which can be seen from afar. The spectrum of a star moving towards the observer appears slightly blue-shifted, whereas the spectrum of a star moving away appears red-shifted. The spectral analysis reveals the strength of the gravitational interaction between the two celestial objects and, indirectly, the planet's mass as well. The planetary mass of TI-733b was locked at 5.72 Earth masses by performing the same measurements for the star. The data we have so far, 
including the planetary mass and radius, allow us to calculate the planet's density. The figures suggest a density of 3.98 grams per cubic centimeter, which is slightly higher than that of Mars and less than Earth's 5.51 grams per cubic centimeter. Now this is where things take an interesting turn. The discovery has set the stage for some fascinating possibilities about the planet's composition, based primarily on its density. One hypothesis suggests that the exoplanet could have initially had a hydrogen-helium atmosphere, similar to Neptune's. If this is the case, photoevaporation might have stripped away this primary atmosphere over time. Alternatively, and more likely, the planet fits the description of an ocean world. Even in this scenario, the exoplanet's original hydrogen and helium atmosphere would have been lost due to photoevaporation. The twist is that a remnant atmosphere saturated with water vapor is much more resistant to photoevaporation. This scenario implies that the planet has most likely retained a significant portion of its atmospheric mass, resulting in an ocean world. However, determining whether TI 733b has a secondary atmosphere or is an ocean planet remains a major challenge. For a definitive answer, a detailed analysis of the planet's atmosphere is required. The most reliable method for such an analysis currently involves comparing starlight that has passed through the planet's atmosphere with its unfiltered counterpart. However, TI 733b is not an ideal candidate for such an investigation, necessitating a wait for the next generation of telescopes to reveal TI 733b's atmospheric secrets. Exoplanets within the Radius Valley, such as TI 733b, may hold the key to unlocking the valley's mysteries. This exoplanet in particular is an excellent candidate for such research. It is a small but potentially critical piece of the exoplanet puzzle. As a result, future follow-up observations with high-precision instruments will almost certainly provide data worth investigating further. Thanks for watching the video. Also subscribe the channel.